You remember this video? Yeah, it's complete garbage, so let's make a new one instead. I created a video about a year ago called How Do I Make My Videos. That specific video talked about my creative process when it comes to YouTube, which hasn't changed all that much. Now, since I've learned a lot in a year, I figured I would share some of this information with some of you aspiring YouTubers. If you don't care about that, well, um... Check out my collaborations playlist since I'm always posting stuff there. Eight things. Behind the scenes maintenance, first impressions, playlist collaborations, captions, distribution, consistency, and something to remember. The very first thing you should do is go to your channel and press the gear right there. Please. This gives you the ability to customize your channel to its full potential. Channel keywords are also another huge important thing. You know the annoying thing when you type in Jimmy's sick Call of Duty quick scopes channel that was recorded on a potato, but you just can't find it when you type in hey it's your boy Jimmy into the YouTube search? It's because one, Call of Duty is so saturated on YouTube. Well, what did you expect? It's because Jimmy didn't take the time to add channel keywords so that way his friend can find his video. Oh, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, did you know that I have links on my banner? No? Understandable. Although they aren't extremely noticeable, they're a must to set up. Here you can set up links to your social media, website, and or crowdfunding sites. Patreon.com slash mastery. You know how your mom always told you to make a good first impression? Well, today, Mastery is your mom. On YouTube, first impressions are the most important thing when it comes to a possible new subscriber. This is why I put my best content up front to put my best foot forward. When a new possible subby stumbles across this desert known as the internet, they first see your channel trailer. Oh, what's that? Jimmy doesn't have a channel trailer. Well, too bad for him. He just lost an opportunity to bump up a meaningless number by an addition of one. All he had to do is make a little, little short video explaining the what and the why of his channel. Darn it, Jimmy. Since Jimmy is literally incapable of doing anything right, I suggested that he set up the front of his channel as follows. Channel trailer, best videos playlist, uploads, popular uploads, collaborations, and then from there, any other playlists you want. If you're the kind of guy who has four different channels that you're active on, you can actually add playlists from other channels to your channel, which is really nice. For example, I have my vlogs, cool dude videos, podcast, and live stream playlists on my channel near the bottom to attempt to drive traffic to other channels. Speaking of playlists, these are some that you should add to your channel. Best videos playlist, collaborations playlist, and some playlists titled by year. A best videos playlist because you want people to see your best work and not a video that you made a year ago that you absolutely Hey. A collaborations playlist so that way everybody can see all of the collaborations you've been a part of so far. And lastly, a playlist by year so that way you can see how much you've progressed over the years. One of the main ways to gain subscribers is to collaborate, just like I've done. My advice is to find like-minded people like you and also to find people in your niche. There are some people who say, D Don't collaborate with them unless they have the same amount of subscribers as you. To which I say, if you both create great content and you really want to collaborate with each other and the only thing that's stopping you is sub count, just collaborate with them. I've mostly collaborated with people that have less subscribers than me and I do this for multiple reasons. One, if I see true passion and potential in a fellow YouTube creator, I want to support them any way I can. Two, even if I don't gain a single subscriber, it's still exposure for my channel and helps get my name out there on YouTube. Reputation is key in the YouTube community. You know who doesn't have a good reputation? auto-generated captions on YouTube. This is why I suggest adding manual captions to your videos. To be honest, I haven't done this a lot, like, once, but the video I did do it on got a lot of views, so I guess I should do it more often. When you add captions to videos, you're giving Google more information, so that way when somebody types in, say, how to survive Valentine's Day, there is a way better chance of your video ranking higher in search. All right, Master Eve, are you done acting like you know everything? No. I am not done, but thank you for asking. Distribution. Once you post a video, you should be spending hours and hours promoting it on different sites, but not in a spammy way that'll make everyone, including your dog Scruffles, hate you. I recommend joining a bunch of YouTube Facebook groups, YouTube forums, and if the topic that you're talking about is very specific, like say, HiveSwap, I would go to some Reddit forums about HiveSwap and post it there. If you're serious about YouTube, consistency is top. I'm talking about top priority. If you say you're gonna post weekly, 
people expect you to post weekly. Whoa! For me, every two weeks works, and that's for multiple reasons, such as work, school, and other creative projects, such as podcasts, vlogs, and other content on my extra channel. Find a schedule that works for you personally and stick to it. I'll leave you with this last thought. <clears throat> Passion, progress, and patience. Be truly passionate about what you create. If you aren't, who will be? Make progress with your channel and improve with every single video you create. Be patient, always. This is a very long journey. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you're new here, please subscribe and press that bell. And I will see you later, so bye.